Hi, I'm Gigi, or as you may know, I'm Gigi Bear. Um, I'm a tattoo artist and I've been tattooing for eight years. I own Crimson River Tattoo with my husband. We currently have a team of all-female tattooers. We're trying to break the stigma of being a woman in this industry. Well, the goal of our studio is to let the people know that we're here, that the Philippines have women that can do different kind of tattoo styles and, well, <laughs> we can deliver. There's still a stigma of working as a tattoo artist, as a woman, because uh, most of the shops here usually have uh, guys that tattoo. And, well, the industry is male-dominated. Recently, uh, more and more women are working in this field and has been really, really good. We work in different styles as well. We have girls who can do like full body suit, full colored tattoos. We work in different like styles too. We can, we can do almost everything. Clients actually prefer to get a female tattoo artist because they think we're more light-handed. We pay more attention to detail, but it's the same. What men can do, we can do as well. There should be no stigma with the gender. I worked with a different shop before. Like some clients question our ability to to tattoo like certain styles. They they don't really trust you instantly because you're a girl. I think before they have more confidence in getting a tattoo from a guy. So how did you start? So I used to do graphic design. I graduated from UST advertising, but I never got into adver. But I did graphic design for like two years. But I think the pay is so low. When I met my husband, he taught me how to do the basics, the tattooing. Yeah, and I, I don't know, I just had so much fun. I never stopped. It became a passion, yeah. In terms of, like, the start, was it hard for you? It wasn't really that hard because I had a lot of friends who were supportive. They were really willing to be practiced on. And then 55 Tinta got me as their artist. I was only practicing for about a year when they asked me to join their team. From then on, I worked full-time as a tattoo artist already. My first tattoo, I did a safety pin. <laughs> I did a safety pin on my husband. A lot of my friends from college were tattooing already, and I really envied them. I don't know, I was so scared of the permanence and the process because I really didn't understand how it works like how they see where the needle goes how how the the lines how they connect the lines cleanly for me i think i just really needed to try to try it myself it just clicked for the first tattoos i was really scared because it's permanent right but well it wasn't really that hard for me to practice, I guess, because my friends really supported me. They literally let me do anything. It's different for me because if you start to tattoo, it's actually you need to get an apprenticeship and it's like a, it's a long process. You need to do like artworks and stuff. Your master won't let you tattoo instantly. You need to prove yourself that you can do your own style and learn the, how to set up a machine, how to set up the station, learn how to sanitize and all the setup. Well, for me, hardest part was um, finding my own style because I didn't go through the apprenticeship. I worked at a street shop, so we get asked to do everything like anything the client wants if the client comes to the shop you, sh you should know how to do their tattoo well well i started doing all sorts of stuff but after a few years i realized that i really enjoy doing black work and not colored ones i love the challenge of doing 
a design in just black work, black ink. My style is black work tattooing. I translate the client's design into a black work tattoo with stippling and line. I don't really do like gray wash. I just use straight up black ink. Most of my tattoos are from my friends. Um, from Good Hand Tattoo, Pale Rose Tattoo. They're really good tattoo shops for uh, traditional style tattoos. It's different from what my style is, but it's like it's my personal preference of what I like on my body. Why do you think people get tattoos? They have different reasons. Some of them get tattooed just because, just because they want a design. Some of them want to remember a memory. Like I get a lot of requests to do uh, photos, like family photos or like a specific thing, like a knife or something that their dad had. Yeah. But, I don't know, lately there has been a lot of people who doesn't care about the meaning, they just want the design compared to before. Like right now, I think it's more accepted. That's why they, they really look at tattoos as art. Why do you have tattoos? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, I like getting tattoos. I usually get a tattoo to reward myself. Well, sometimes if there's just uh, like a flash event, I just wanna get something done. I'm past that phase of getting a tattoo with, with meanings because I have a lot already. I think it's a different reason for me now. I come from a very conservative family because both of my parents are accountants. My dad, when he learned that I'm working as a tattoo artist, he still didn't want me to pursue it. He said that being in an office and having a job in an office is still different than being freelance. But I proved to him that being a tattoo artist and doing what I want is more fulfilling than working at an office. Did you ever have faced any challenges so far in terms of like being an artist? Pinaka challenge, yeah, is finding my own style. Because uh, it's the most important thing for uh, being an artist is to have your own style. Because people go to you because of your style. But do you think you have found it now 100% or are you still looking for it? I think I found it, yeah. Because <laughs> uh, I don't want to box myself in black work, but all florals lang. I still want to do all sorts of stuff, but in black work, yeah. Because some of my friends, I don't want to constrain myself in like the science. I still want to be challenged. My goal right now is to help my fellow artists and create a safe space for clients. Most tattoo shops are like dark and scary. I don't wanna have that vibe because uh, it's not me. Actually, I only had other artists working here because of the pandemic. They were forced to close down their shops or they can't work on their home studios because well, most of them are moms as well, so they don't want to risk other people coming in with their kids at home. So that's what we're trying to do right now, just trying to help other, our other friends. Currently, we're all female team, but we're not like limiting to only female. Um, the QP dolls are my my collection. I just don't have a space at home to display them. So it became my studio thing and our logo, yeah. The bones, I'm really uh, interested in taxidermy as well and science and all that stuff. So sometimes I do, the, do those stuff too. <laughs> I have friends who have exotic pets or because it's hard to get the specimens, so they just give it to me for me to preserve. What's a good tattoo artist? What's a good tattoo artist? For me, a good tattoo artist, it's different because you can be really good at 
that at doing a tattoo like you can hyper realistic but if you're ugali as shit <laughs> you need to talk to all sorts of people so you need to be able to carry yourself and not be offended easily because a lot of people are like that especially with the social media i think being a good tattoo artist you need to be able to handle different kinds of people as well you need to learn how to talk to the f- people that are like in arts all sorts of life because that's how you build their trust or how do you define beauty beauty should not be defined as what society thinks or beauty should not be stereotyped because today in our day and age there are different ways to be beautiful and not just in our physical appearance there are a lot of people who are really beautiful inside which is more important in terms of who you are can you define yourself because i think i'm not the usual girl because I, i have kids so i if i go to school all the parents would look at me because i'm different but well good thing with my son's school is they're really open to like different kinds of people so they don't really stereotype they don't really judge like they allow my son right now to have colored long colored hair i know that i can't please everyone well i don't really care because i know for myself that i am a good person the challenge for me too was having kids while doing this well the shop's name is crimson river it's my two sons name when i started tattooing i was actually pregnant for the first year i was practicing while i was pregnant that's why i had time to practice as well i was at home most of the time when i was starting to work full time It was a challenge for me as well because uh, I had to leave my baby with my mom. I always had the mom guilt. I always leave my baby like for several hours and I was still breastfeeding. So <laughs> it was really a challenge for me to have kids while working full time when I was starting. But right now, because I have my own shop, It was easier for me because I manage my own time. So I get to schedule clients just when I like a certain slot for a day. So in mornings, I take care of the kids, like do errands and stuff. So we don't have a babysitter. Um, so when, when me and my husband work here, the kids just We just leave the kids to their tita. So if you want to be a tattoo artist, best way is to really get an apprenticeship. That way, it would be easier for you to find your own style of what you want to work on. Because for me, I got lost for the, for the few years I, I used to work. Me and my friends, we usually don't tattoo neck, hands. If you're not covered like we we still think about your life's choices because <laughs> it's like a job stopper placements uh, out of all your tattoos uh, which one is like the best or which has uh, the, the deepest meaning out of all of your tattoos well maybe my son's name crimson river yeah They're the, they're my, they're my inspiration for all of this. They're the reason I tattoo. What's your favorite tattoo that you've done on somebody else? That one. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell, but, well, I can't say that, that one for the most recent, because I love Mac Miller. And I, and I rarely do portraits. What's something that tattooing taught you that you don't think you could have learned in a corporate job? Tattooing taught me to be patient and to be very hardworking. Even if I manage my own time, I still have a lot of deadlines like you guys. Because uh, I, I mostly work 
custom custom design so i work i work on designs all the time and be patient because the clients all have different different ways to talk iba iba sila talaga any last word you want to say well don't rush getting tattoos well my first tattoo i got when i was in i was 18 but i i only ever got covered like maybe four years ago i only got my legs tattooed most of them are from last last two years yeah so don't rush getting tattooed because it depends on what you really want to do in life